Darren, the next topic I'd like to discuss with you is the issue of increased levels of censorship that seem to be going on, particularly in the realm of social media. Certainly we've seen increased levels of that on YouTube, but also on the more popular platforms for social media such as Facebook. Do you have any comments on where this is going or what is driving these increased levels of surveillance of the comments that the general public are making? People are expressing their own personal opinion, their own point of view. Nobody claims to be a medical expert, nobody claims to be offering medical advice, but they're still being jumped on, for want of a better term, for expressing their own views or concerns. Hmm. Well, there appears to be an imposition on people's liberties in respect of the right to freedom of speech. And this is coming quickly and in a concerning uh, manner. Um, what I see uh, the problem is, is for example, let's talk about social media. Uh, you write something on social media and or you, you, you post a particular picture and all of a sudden there's uh, people censoring the picture, saying this isn't correct information. It's a breach of the fundamental right of expression. You have the right to express yourself in any way you see fit. You know, if the flavor of the month is vanilla ice cream and I like chocolate ice cream, I should be able to express that I like chocolate ice cream. It, it's irrelevant what the subject matter is. Now, it appears on a lot of these platforms, the justification they provide the, uh, the participant is they say that you've actually breached the community standards of that particular platform. The community guidelines. Yes, yes. Now, I've, I've seen it put as the community standards, but and, and, and I think that's on, on, on Facebook, actually. Um, or or if, you, if you click on to the answers, they talk about the community standards. Now, I had a thought, a think about this, and I was thinking, well, I've never been contacted about what my standards are, and I'm part of that community. So I started to ask around. I started asking my friends and my family, have you been asked about your community standards in respect of social media? And they said, no, we've never been approached. So then I actually asked on social media, is there anyone that can confirm that they've been approached and been asked about what their standards are on that particular platform? There was silence. And I thought that was quite strange because there's these standards that nobody knows what the standards are and no one's actually participated in providing the standard on which the platform bases its standards upon. So is it the community standards or is it the company that owns the actual platform that are imposing their beliefs upon you if they're not in harmony with the beliefs of the company that own the platform? And that's what it appears to be. And I do believe there's been a few court cases in regards to this, where people have challenged this very thing and everyone is successful. Are you talking about people who ha may have had their comments censored or deleted, or they may have had their entire online presence wiped? Yes, yes. So these, these things have been challenged in the courts over, overseas and people are usually quite successful because these particular things are pointed out and, uh, and exposed for what they are. And there's a general rule that you cannot encroach on people's civil, civil liberties to express one's opinion. Um, you know, these, these very simple little things that people rely on just to have a discussion online are being jumped on by censors and, and fact checkers and, and you know, re realistically, although it's on social media, that's a conversation you're trying to have with the people who you're associated with on social media. Uh, it's not a, uh, a discussion with the... Uh, the whole uh, platform, 
it's not a public broadcast. No, exactly. And you are entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to express yourself how you see fit, as long as it doesn't offend anyone in respect of being uh, against the law. I suppose it would seem very ironic, in fact, that the people that own, run and operate these platforms are then censoring or deleting or suppressing so much of the information on their own platform that they've created for people to engage or indulge in a dialogue. 100%. So it's, it's self-defeating the platform. So there's a projection that you can go on there and discuss your thoughts and project your ideas to people, but only if they're in harmony with those of the people who own that particular platform. Because remember, and I, and I put this out to everyone, if you've had your personal liberties, uh, such as the right to express oneself and the freedom of speech encroached upon, you need to go and challenge this. And what I suggest is there needs to be a class action because I would say there would be many tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that have actually been uh, or had their, their speech modified and, and actually stopped. And there's actual punishments involved with um, particular platforms. They won't let you publish on the platform. Um, and as you said, it can even lead to a complete deletion of your participation upon that platform. Uh, these things need to be um, policed in some way. Uh, now, I'm not uh, advocating for some sort of a watchdog or anything like that, but there needs to be some common sense in respect of people expressing their own rights and expressing their own thoughts and beliefs. Um, and once again, as long as they're not offensive to uh, a particular part of society. So anything within reason, of course.